Children who need foster care are amongst the most vulnerable in society. At a difficult and disruptive time, the priority is to find a loving home. But how much consideration is given to a child's ethnicity, religion and background? Today, a judge has ordered an English-speaking child placed into foster care with a mixed-race family whose reported use of Arabic upset her should live with her grandmother. The local authority involved, the London Borough of Tower Hamlets, has insisted the girl's foster family are English-speaking, but it has raised questions around the challenges of fostering. When you do make decisions about placing child, a child somewhere in an emergency, um, if it's not the ideal placement, you then have to decide kind of what's, what's best, really. And there are also issues about um, their, their background, their, um, their racial uh, heritage, their language, their religion. So there will be a whole number of factors that you'll need to take into consideration when you're trying to find the family that fits best. Um, and as I say, the geographical consider consideration will be quite a significant one because um, the one, if a child is being taken out of their family, you don't want them to have to sort of leave school and have to make new friends on top of everything else that's happening to them. The decision to place a child in foster care is made by social workers and children's services concerned with welfare. <coughs> Judges can also intervene in the process if it's felt the child's needs are not met. Time can be critical in making a decision, along with the availability of carers. There is always a shortage of foster carers um, because, uh, well, apart from anything else, you know, like everybody else, foster carers retire. So we're always needing to replace foster carers who are already in the system, but we also have an increasing number of children coming into care. Um, so the best estimates would be is that we probably need to recruit about another six or 7,000 foster carers sort of for England and for um, UK wide um, to be able to kind of meet the demand that we have and to ensure that we have enough choice really so that we can provide the best placement possible for each child that's coming into care. There are nearly 53,000 foster carers in England, of which 85% are white. Nine local authorities reported having no long-term foster carers from ethnic minority groups, and just over a fifth of fostered children are from an ethnic minority background. A shortage of ethnic minority foster carers means white British families often look after children from different backgrounds. It doesn't happen as much the other way around, but when it does, it can be seen as controversial. But I think it's more about self-image. I mean, Precious yeah, Williams yeah. spent much of her childhood with white foster carers. And I remember quite clearly in, in my situation, um, in my childhood situation, eventually there came a time when my mother and stepfather wanted me to you know, come back and live with them as planned um, in a Nigerian household. And my English family just sort of said, no, we're not letting that happen. And it ended up in court. And I've actually seen the, the sort of legal documents now from back then. And the judge was very much in his decision. His decision was for me to stay with my English family. He's very much saying I can benefit from the English way of life and being in an English home. And, and he was sort of saying, basically, that's better than returning to an African home. So that, so that, that this, we're going back to the 80s now, that, that was the attitude then. But unfortunately, this story is, is sort of, it's looking like that's kind of still the attitude now that you know if a, if a child of color is in is, a, is in an english home they're being sort of somehow they're benef benefiting from that but when you have the reverse it's a problem and i also think you know if we're going to talk about diversity we, we have to sort of realize that diversity works all ways everyone agrees that children should be matched with foster homes that reflect their needs faith and background but the problem is, there simply aren't always enough carers to make that possible.